And Ocean, you made the remark that given a sufficient amount of time, this is um, the typewriter's observation. Right. This is You're a common. It's, what's what's this, false about it? This I'm going to tell you. This is before I do. This is a very common in, in, internet theme that, given enough time, that even the most improbable events can can happen. There's there's a number of reasons why that's problematic. For example, there's something known as a probability bound. Okay. Now, if we if we take the view of the of the big bag cosmology. There is only a finite number of uh, time, okay, and it can be divided into what they call Planck time. So you have a finite number of, of trials, right? Now, when it, when it comes to um, shorter informational sequences, when you have a large enough trials, you can produce very short informational sequences, but when it comes to very long informational sequences, the more time goes on, even if you throw at it and a gargantuan, even unimaginable trials, the frequency of error will wipe out even the possibility of that occurring. And I'm going to give you an illustration of the case. It's called the law of large numbers. Now, for example, is there a chance of some of a, a coin being flipped uh, 10,000 heads in a row. Is there a chance of that occurring? Sure. Okay. Now, is that a theoretical chance, or does that mean that there's an actual chance in the real world? From where I'm sitting, theoretical, but I'm sure it could happen. Okay. So I would, I would, could, well, I would well, actually well, lean towards actual all, chance. How could, how, could, how could you be sure that it could happen? I don't follow. The coin you has said, two sides. Okay, that's good. You so said it can land sure. on one side 10,000 well, times in a row. You said it theoretically, maybe, but you said in addition to theoretically, you're sure that it could happen in the real world. How did you arrive? Are you, are you at saying your, that it can't? Uh, you're, you're not answering the question. You asserted that you're sure that it could happen. Yes, the coin has two sides. You could land on one side the ten thousand. No, but that's 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 a theoretical possibility. But you said in the real world, it's absolutely possible that it could happen. Sure. You're, you're sure of that. How do you know that? The coin has two sides. It could land on one side okay. ten thousand okay. times. Okay. Again. Okay. You're. Repeating. We're gonna we're gonna go back and forth on this. I'm okay. right. No. So. Okay. You are. The, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to. Are you familiar with the law of, law of large numbers? I'm familiar with the theory of large numbers. I, think, oh, so no, I asked you. I asked you about the law of large numbers. Uh, I think Ocean is just a, saying it's not impossible. Okay, not, the impossible. law of large numbers. I'm saying numbers, it's not impossible, not, and so and therefore, okay, if it's not impossible, okay. then that means it is possible. Okay. Well, well, here's 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 the problem. Uh, you're not familiar with the law of large numbers. The law of large numbers states that if you have a random event that has a fixed probability and that random event is repeated in large, and I mean large numbers, the outcome always, always equals the probability. Now, no. it is not, this is, okay, excuse me. That's not what it says. Okay. Uh, okay it says that it shouldn't You got to let him finish. Is, you got to let him finish, man. Is, no, he was wrong is, on this. Okay, laughing is not a rebuttal. Now, the law of large oh, numbers... Oh, no, I'm not, la I'm not just laughing. I'm laughing and correcting you. Oh, uh, okay, good. You're, you're the wrong. Law, the law yeah, of... Let him finish, dude. Okay. Yeah, you're being rude. Um, uh, well, I mean, you're also... The being law rude. of large numbers out. is called a law for a reason. And do you know why, Ocean? Why is it called a law? Because every time they have attempted scientifically to repeat a random event such as a, a binary option, such as flipping a coin, in every instance that this has been tested scientifically, and this has been tested uh, a gargantuan amount of times, that the outcome always equals a general 50-50 distributions of heads and tails. Okay. Now, there's a reason why they call it the law of large numbers and not the theory of large numbers. It is the same reason why we call things the laws of physics, because we have never seen a deviation in all the times we have made observations of these consistencies. So that is why they're called the laws of physics and, and chemistry. Now, the law of large numbers is something that mathematically has been tested out hundreds, if not 
thousands of times by professional and amateur experimenters. So what this simply means is this. Due to the frequency of error, okay, because you have a probability of 50-50, that all it's going to take is one, just one error in the chain of flipping coins, and you will be endlessly starting over. So, so for example, in a sequence of 10,000 heads in a row, you could get half of those correctly, but if you get one tail, you have to start over. And due to the law of large numbers saying that the outcome always equals the probability, you, you will always have a distribution of 50-50 results, which guarantees that according to the law of large numbers, you will never get uh, 10,000 heads in a row.